Episode five. Episode five. Oh, no, episode five. five. Nate is back, everyone. Hi, Nate. Wrap that up. Wrap that up with the monet. No, shoot, we're monetizing. Dude, this is it. why we don't have views yeah. because of you. Yeah. Yep. That we, we lost. <laughs> I was supposed to be back on the last one, but then uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to be here. But I'm here now. Yeah. So before we get started, Nate, I have a question. Yeah. What do you mean as band, not a sport? I saw your I saw your Snapchat story. What do you mean as a band? Oh not a are you talking? Wait, wait. Are you talking about marching band or band in general? Band in general. Okay, yeah, it's not a band. All right, it's not it's not a sport. Okay, good. Because I was confused for a little. I thought you were saying that marching band is not a sport, which it is. Welcome, guys, back to another episode. Back to the final episode for this season, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, we're leaving. Yep, I'm going to Mexico, everybody. <laughs> no, not really. So these two, they're they're leaving. They're going to be off to work, and I'm just going to stay here. Hopefully, if I can get into work, guys. Why don't, why don't you guys tell no, me? You can always do the podcast by yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's going <laughs> to be boring. Watch that. It's going to be boring. No one's going to watch this. Well, but, first off, I'm going off to Mexico because I need to fight a war. And uh, that explains the sun. Quick question, quick question. Um, I don't, I'm a serious thing. Um, what are we going to do about, what was it called? What was the name of it? The thing where we bought all the food. Oh, the Vault Foundation? Vault Foundation. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do that just because, like. Yeah, well, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm not, but I'm just saying, like, or anything at all. Like, your ensemble or whatever it was. I'm sure some, some kids in the youth company will, uh carry down our legacy oh wait you know what i think yeah yeah the ball foundation will be carrying on i don't know who but um someone has to do it i mean yeah, oh, so we're, not gonna, we're not campers anymore because we're not campers anymore because you guys we just finished school and we all three are seniors well technically you, Joel, be a camper. Hey, you guys left me alone i'm hey, sorry whatever so anyway, guys, welcome back to another podcast. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me! Hang on, my my, my sister's calling me. What? So while Joel is on an intermission break, uh, we're here to tell you guys. That... Hello. <laughs> so while Joel is be right back, you guys keep talking. Okay, okay. Hey guys, you like Gucci <laughs> water? Okay, leave. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know what happened. So, yeah, we're going oh, off to, to this supposed camp. Uh, I got you. I got you. Yeah. I'm going to get you some revenue. Joel, get ready. Get ready. Um, you going to cash app him or something? <laughs> get ready. <laughs> um, I'm very confused what you're trying to do here, Nate. Okay. okay. One second. One second. Hold up. Wait, how do I share screen? How do I do that? Anyway, uh, while Nate much. is doing uh, this. I was just going to play an ad. <laughs> <laughs> Here I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. Okay. So while while I'm while I'm pulling up an ad, basically everyone, we are going to uh, this camp and we're gonna work with a bunch of toddlers and kids, and uh, we're gonna become a bunch of lifeguards and and supervisors, and uh, somehow get paid to do it. And we're gonna be gone the entire the entire summer. So basically, we're not gonna be here on this podcast anymore. Yeah. Uh, and I mean ever. I'm not coming back. <laughs> Joel, while you're editing this, this was that was totally a joke. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Share my. No, he disabled it. What? He disabled it. All right, fine. I'll pull it up on my on my iPod. What did he disable? He disabled screen sharing. I'm I'm putting up a I'm, oh. I'm putting up a commercial. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we got that iPhone SC, everyone. This is sponsored by Apple. Apple, you owe us money. Oh, oh he's back. He's back. Okay. He's back. Apple, you owe us money. Wait, what are you guys talking about? Yeah. Oh, uh, we were just talking about advertisements yeah. and how important they are. <laughs> Speaking yeah, of advertisements, yeah. that brings me back to Leaf Records. Cue my amu uh, amazing uh, beats and, and non-copyright free music right here. So basically, it's a record label. 
made by me and my best friend Joe. And uh, let me just tell you what that is real quick. It is a for-for-profit music company that we are made basically no money. Uh, we've lost a bunch of money, but we still have made music and we're in the process of making an album that may never come out. But if it, if it will, it might come out in the next 10 years. Now, look out folks, Joel is coming out and I am excited. Coming next week, everybody, you've seen it here, live, live from Disney World in my mom's basement. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great one. Probably five years. All right, so where do we left off here? Summer plans. We were talking about uh, the Vault Foundation and how people are going to carry our legacy because on how rich I'd win. I'd win. It's time to drink my Gucci water. I got my Dasani. Do you actually? Um, is it actually Dasani, Joe? You tell me right now. I want to know if this is Dasani. Well, it's a, it's a weird pH level, as Victor had stated. And, uh, There's only one thing I can say to that. Joe! Uh, I don't think you should leave that in. <laughs> just cut it out and just let me, and then just let it, let let the video say, just don't leave that Order in. Order I have no idea. Here. Yeah, our summer plans. Well, these two are off to work to camp, and I'm here. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? My summer plans are done. I was supposed to go out of the country, but uh, Mexico has been quarantined, and uh, yeah, they canceled my flight. Everyone. They canceled your fright, and now you're stuck here. Yeah, so basically my summer's canceled. Joel, how does it feel to be quarantined in a country that you just got your visa in? It feels normal. It feels like I'm staying at home for a while. There's the guy that's living in his parents' attic. So do you pay off your uh, your debt for the pans? Uh, yeah, did you? I pay off my light. I what about the pans? And uh, Yeah, basically. Okay. And uh, furniture as well. So, so that means you are now... Ten thousand four hundred and thirty-seven dollars still left in debt. Yes, unfortunately. Thank you all for watching. The finale, everyone. We don't know when are we coming back. Probably fall. Five-minute episode, everyone. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> no, what do you also? Mean? What do you mean by I wanted to talk about this on the podcast because I genuinely wanted to know your 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 thinking process, Nate. So you said that we would record a podcast on the weekend up at Yeah, camp. what do you mean by that? We're not Saturday we leave. What are you talking about, Nate? We're going to be back on Sunday. There's no purpose. There's no point. I have a two and a half hour drive home. That's four hours total. Wait, hold up. <laughs> what time will we leave on Saturday, though? No, it's five. We're eating four from Five hours total. <laughs> no, it's I said a woman. A couple of nice colas. <laughs> We do not support the, the, the drinking of Corona beer underage. We do not drink underage. We do not drink at all, except water. Welcome to CNN. <laughs> so basically, guys, Victor we were gone for fake. about five Victor minutes. Victor said it's fake. We need to use PBS. You're right. PBS Broadcasting, Curious George, my ABCs, all that good stuff. They teach me everything I need to know. Thomas and Friends. Come on, guys. JJ the Jet. Thomas Green. and Friends. <laughs> yeah, have you have you not watched that? Sure. When you were a kid, no, no, <laughs> you did not. No way, you did not. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, let's go. Leave me. I'm on. I'm I'm gonna stay with Nate for this one. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Remember our, our remember our late night talks, dude. And Fine. and you and you said that you had a thing for Asian girls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. You I do remember that. that. I forgot about that. That's funny. Oh you didn't? No, 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 no. Finally no. figured it out. But no. There's no. some things that I'd never forget, and that thing was one of them. That Joe was in the Blondie Asian Girls. Yeah. Yeah. He said Blondie. This dude said Blondie. Blondie. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was definitely a highlight of camp. This that was always not, made it. Yeah. Not necessarily about your girls, but about the... Girl, What? <laughs> <laughs> but about the late night talks they always were my favorite yeah all right i guess we should go to the next topic because basically the whole 10 minutes i don't know all right the next topic i don't know what's happening right now you know the riots and looting i mean oh yeah yeah so very example, terrible actually yeah it is but for everyone who doesn't know uh this guy named uh George Floyd was killed by a police. George. It was George Floyd. Yeah. I'm pretty sure everyone knows, I guess. Yeah. 
And uh, basically, people are freaking out. I'm just not going to mention the races because it's not even important, and everyone knows anyway. And uh, so the cop killed the guy. Uh, he was, however, being arrested before he was. Yeah, before BC. Yeah, he was like, um, he was already on drugs. He right? was currently on methamphetamine, and he dropped a white bag before the cop. Uh, uh, saw him when he confront when the cop went up to him. He dropped a white baggie. Joe, I don't know if you can do this, but put a video in like the corner of the screen. But there's a video on YouTube that shows it, and you should put that on, so that Remember. because everyone's making out that George Floyd is a martyr. You know what I mean? That, yeah. and that he's fully innocent, and that's not necessarily the case. He was in and out of prison up until the tens, and even maybe even 2014. Don't hold me accountable to this, uh, but he just got out of prison. And uh, he was looked like he was still kind of struggling. And that's maybe why he was using the drugs to escape. And, you know, and that's why the cops went over. And, and uh, you know, it's overall a sad situation. But it's even sadder that people don't understand what's actually going on. Mm -hmm. And that what actually happened. People are just looking at it that a white male kicked. No, a white male killed an unarmed black man. That's how the people are looking at it. They need to look at it from the entire story's perspective. Yeah. Who was at fault? Who was not? Yes, the cop went too far. Yes, the, yes, George was also intoxicated and stoned and everything. So both people were in the wrong. Honestly, they should have just put him in the cop car, took him to a mental health facility, got him cleaned up, and then honestly just let get him on his way after he got, you know, after all the abusement and all the drugs and all that other stuff was cleaned out of his system. That's what they should have done. Yeah. Uh, it's really sad to see. But it's really All sad. All the rioting and looting. Yeah. And then people are yeah. going out to, and then this is all, I'm just coming, I'm going to mention these races again. So, so, and all these white people are spray painting Black Lives Matters, right? And then you see these videos of these people are telling them, why are you doing this? The cops are going to blame us. They are talking to the, the black people are talking to the white people about it. Uh, and that's just the sad reality of today. And that's really something that shouldn't be very, uh, shouldn't be tolerated at all. And, uh, yeah. you know, we do need to accept that racism is just a part of our country and we were kind of built on it, which is the worst part of it. Uh, yeah. But we, hopefully we can fix that problem in the future and, and uh, not let that control our country in the future. What do you think about the, uh, um, them defunding the police? So basically uh, the government is talking about uh, taking away a good amount of their percentages of payments or the salary cutting in oh, now because oh, okay. of the, the ignorant power trippers. And uh, I think that's probably the best way to describe them. Okay, okay. However, I feel like the good cops should be getting more money. You know what I mean? I feel like as you work your way up, you should be I feel, no, getting what more I'm, money. I think um, that the reason there are some bad cops is because, um, well, cops just don't get paid enough, you know, like it's, it's an, it's, it's not. I'm not saying it's an easy job, but to become a cop isn't. You know, you don't get paid that much. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, but also some people see it as, yeah, I'm gonna become the boss of you, and they really start to get on that really big like high of authority, and that's something that really really shouldn't happen. But uh, it's kind of sad. And then the looting is overall really sad, and how they have these baseball bats and whatever and. And they're swinging fires. And, they said that yeah. they had to do that because they said they need to be heard. But I don't understand. They say that their voices are like the most powerful to like let people hear them, right? Yeah. But instead, they use like a breaking glass to make it hear. Like, I don't get it. If, if you know what I mean. Peaceful but, uh, protesting should be how we should protest. And the worst part is. The world. Uh, when China had their protests earlier this year about. Uh, rights and freedom there was less injuries and less kills than there were in america and this is a government who doesn't care about the people supposedly or is more public about it you know i think we need to really get our eyes open and, and see what's really going on here I, I understand that people may be attacking the cops thinking that they're all racist but we do need to look at it from a people's perspective and to really think on how what on why they're they're trying to react that way you know what i mean from a government mm. and political standpoint why are the people acting out on cops and then the reason and then all these cops are now supposedly 
innocently attacking people, not innocently, but like the innocent people are getting attacked by these cops, which I saw some videos on Twitter. You know, I think that the cops are at fault. However, they're just, I, I mean, I kind of understand why they're scared because, you know, I'm just, you know what I mean? Because you see the people and, and they're going up and, and the cops might think that they're trying to hurt them. Like, at, like someone else did in, in New Orleans. I'm just using that as an example. Hopefully, you got, hopefully the viewers and, and you guys understand what I'm saying, that the cops are very scared because not only that, but both parties are scared. So, you know, the, the main question is how long will these protests go to, until... And yeah. until we do until something happens that's that's the main question i think that's where we should wrap it up everybody we did most of it five episodes i think we're good guys this is the end of the first season all right am i the only one all right cool no that's um, fine. guys thank you guys so much for coming 15 likes 15, 15 likes. likes okay 15 likes for season two i don't know when when is it coming but uh thank you guys so much for watching Subscribe, 15 likes for season two. Uh, be safe, absolutely be safe. Stay safe out there. And uh, I'll see you guys really soon. Last words, you guys. You know, I think it's very fitting that we ended right about here because it's pretty much the official end of quarantine. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. it's just the perfect time because everybody's going to start breaking out of their rocks and shells and going out into a world full of disease and and uh, <laughs> hatred and racism so i think this is where we we definitely is the right time to end it off so uh, thank yeah. you guys hey, how about you doing? thanks for watching um 15 likes for season two won't be long so uh yeah i'll see you guys later hats off leave me see you guys in 10 weeks 10 weeks <laughs> <laughs> uh, see you guys later peace